episode of Do It Yourself from House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be joining a super fun challenge. It is called the Road Trip Thrift Flip Challenge and it's hosted by Our Green Acres and The Crafting Cousins. So I'll be sure to leave the links to their channels as well as the playlist in my description box. And let's get right to it! Alrighty, so first I wanted to bring you guys along with me while I do some local thrifting in my home state of Arizona. And I love that little box there in the back. I had to reach all the way to get it. And of course, I had to pick up a couple of signs and I also love this cute little cube. And aren't these handmade paintings beautiful? And I always make a pit stop at the china and baking section. I'm always on the hunt for some beautiful farmhouse bakeware. And I thought these were really pretty. They're almost like centerpiece plates. And I thought, oh, this would be so nice even on their own. Alrighty, and here is what I picked up. So I went to two different stores. So I got that cute little box, some beautiful china. And how cool is this bunch of Hobby Lobby floral picks? I was so shocked. I had to take them home. Now let's get into our first DIY thrift flip. So I'm going to start off with this cute little, it's like a cubby organizer from Goodwill. And one of the little knobs is broken, but that's okay. Everything else is in pretty good condition. So first I'm going to go ahead and paint the little drawers using some Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. And the drawers are not removable, so I'm just going to paint the outside very carefully. Now that all the drawers are done, I went ahead and applied this Dollar Tree stencil using some white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to go in and add the pattern. This drawer is easy because the knob was already missing. On the other drawers, I actually had to cut the stencil to make it work. Next, I'm going to go in with some matte Mod Podge and I'm just going to seal the front of each drawer and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add our little missing knob and that'll be it for this beautiful set of drawers. I think they're so, so cute. Alrighty, next we're going to be using this little sign also from Mark Goodwill Hall and it was only $1.49 and I always use a coupon when I go. So first I'm going to start off by painting the center of the sign using that same Waverly chalk paint in the color Celery. Next, I'm going to go in and add this beautiful Waverly stencil using some Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. Alrighty, now that it's all dry, I use my Silic Cameo 4 to print out this little decal onto some white Dollar Tree vinyl that says Farmhouse, and I'll just apply it to our sign using some transfer paper. And 
then I went ahead and just snipped off any excess there and that'll be it for this beautiful farmhouse sign. Alrighty, for our next project today, I'm going to be using that cute little cube we found at Goodwill. And I'm going to start off by painting three faces of it using Celery Waverly Chalk Paint. Alrighty, here's how it's looking now. Next, I'm going to go in with white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint the other three faces. Next, I applied this beautiful Martha Stewart stencil using some celery Waverly chalk paint on the two white sides. Now that those two sides are done, I'm going to use another stencil. This one's by Plaid that says together is our favorite place to be. And I'm going to add those to both of the green sides using the white Waverly chalk paint. Alrighty guys, and here is our beautiful green farmhouse family cube. I think it's so cute. What do you guys think? Alrighty, our next DIY is going to be using this sign from Goodwill. Did you guys catch it? It was one of the first things I saw. So I'm going to start off by painting the center using that same celery Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to go in and dry brush a little bit of this Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. Next, I used my pencil to mark three lines down the sign, and I'm just going to go in with a very teeny tiny paintbrush and some moss to define it to make it look like wooden panels. Next, I used my Scylla Cameo 4 to print out a stencil that says Farmer's Market Fresh Flowers Open Daily. And I'm just going to apply it on our sign using some of the white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to go in and carefully weed out all of our stencil using my weeding tool. And with these last little pieces, that'll be it for this DIY. What do you guys think? I'm loving the spring farmer's market theme right now. So cute. 
And for our last DIY today, I'm going to be using this beautiful tray I found at Goodwill. And I thought about spray painting it, but then I thought maybe I can just give it a fresh new look and restore that beautiful silver shine. So to give this little tray a new shine and polish, I'm going to go in with warm water and some baking soda. And I'm just going to apply the warm water first and then sprinkle on some baking soda. And then we're just going to let it sit for a few minutes. Next, I'm just going to use a washcloth to gently rub in our mixture. And baking soda is one of my favorite household cleaners, you guys. I actually make my own household cleaners using baking soda and white vinegar, as well as water and essential oil. So I use it all of the time. Next, I'm going to take our little tray over to the sink and give it a good rinse. And then I'm just going to go in with a paper towel to dry it. And guys, look at that shine. It's so, so pretty. I'm loving how it turned out. And that'll be it for today's thrift flip projects. I really hope you guys enjoyed them and please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching today's episode you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button i'll also leave the link to today's challenge playlist so you can check out the other amazing creators and i'll leave the links to my blog my instagram and my pinterest as well as my amazon favorites store in my description box thanks see you next time